Hi guys, it's Makabusi here and it's Bandmade Monday, so we're back with another Bandmade song. <laughs> if any of you are surprised by that at this point, then you are watching the wrong channel. Today we are doing the song Sense. Do I know why? Nope, I picked it at random. I've also picked a live video. Why? Don't know. Picked it at random. If I've made wrong decisions, fine. Is there a solo? Is Mark gonna pause you on the solo? Who knows? He absolutely fucking is. <laughs> listen, at this point guys, you know the drill. We're gonna listen to the song, I'm gonna make some sarcastic comments, I'm gonna get surprised now and again when one of the guys does something that I um, was not expecting, and I go, oh, I wasn't expecting that, and you guys go, hi, hi, that's why the song's good. <laughs> This song so far has been absolutely fucking relentless. What was the crazy, the massive cinematic orchestral intro? <laughs> then just went, nah, you're fucking done, let's go. We're just gone. There is lyrics here. I don't know how well they've been translated. They don't make 100% sense to me. I'm trying to decipher what the song's about. But also, she sings so fucking fast and the lyrics change so quickly. And I'm squinting because what you guys see, right? See the size of the screen that you guys see? That's the size of the screen that I see because I've set my fucking thing up like an idiot. But, <laughs> so the writing's tiny. <laughs> and it's changing constantly. I'm doing my best, guys. It seems like... The song is about Psyche saying, listen, you've got two paths in life, you can either go and do this or you can go and do this and it's up to you to make the right decision and live your best life. The angels have come down and they've said, listen, here's a path of righteousness, here's a path of being a prick, don't be a prick, choose this one, use some fucking common sense. If I've got that wrong, you will tell me in the comments, you absolutely will. <laughs> Like, at this point, I don't even need to ask. You will tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. You just fucking love to tell me when I'm wrong in the comments. Anyway, so far, this song has been thunderous. I just want to pause that wee second to say that that guitar line is absolutely fucking dynamite by the way because <laughs> it's so weird and I don't know why she's playing it quite kind of staccato but everybody else is rolling right the way through it so you would think that in my head those like the notes should be held out and there shouldn't be any spaces there's loads of like pauses in between all of our notes and it kind of makes it it's quite a weird, it's quite a weird fucking lead line. And this is why band made are interesting, because they always look at something and go, right, what is the way that anybody else would do this? How can we subtly change that slightly to make it just a wee bit, a wee bit different? I'm <laughs> 
What's what the fuck happened there? Right, okay, see, right, there's another example of exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's missing a note. It's missing a note. It's, it feels like it should go, and I can't sing, right? But it feels like it should go, na, 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 na. But it doesn't. It goes, na, 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 na. And they all come in at that, and it's weird. I don't know why they've done that, but it's fucking brilliant. It's brilliant because it completely catches you off guard. With a pause like that, normally you are ready for it and you're ready to just rock out. But they come in that beat early, totally fucking throws you off. It's the same as that other song that they did where they deliberately paused it for like half, double the time that I expected. And then I made a fool of myself be coming in with the drums and there was no fucking drums. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've done that again. I also just want to say, right, the, that note that she hits when they do all kick in is absolutely fucking glorious. And the little bass line leading up to that section was also really fucking cool. That's all I wanted to say. I'm saying not a damn thing about the guitar solo, I don't care. But now for you guys, because I am a gentleman. Let's go back again. <laughs> Oh. oh, that was a lovely wee bit of bass playing there. Just a lovely wee fucking line to just bring us back into everything coming in. Also, right, there was a wee bit of singing when it all paused that was lovely. <laughs> I think that bass line was the same melody as the singing, which if it is, that's really cool. It wasn't. <laughs> Done it again. She's went and done a drum pause, so she kind of like pauses on the last beat of the, of the last bar of that part while Psyche's like singing, and then you expect that she's gonna come back in just straight up. I think it's Akani or Akani Akani Akani. I don't know. She doesn't. She does like a little roll for the first for the first couple of beats instead, and then comes back in. It's just just weird. It's, oh, it's kind of it's kind of cool. I love the way that they've taken basic song structure that everybody knows who's listened to rock music because it's always this fucking same stuff. And then we're right. How do we play about with this? How do we take everybody's expectations and just skew it slightly? <laughs>
Nice. Also, right, that wee line at the end with the guitar going up in that, with the dual guitars between Miku and Kanami, kind of shows that Miku's guitar playing is coming on leaps and bounds, which is quite nice. Like, because that was not just rhythm guitar, that was actually some weed guitar, which is kind of cool. Melodically, I don't think that was one of Bandmade's best songs. I th it's something that I don't think the Bandmade can 100% help. I think the language and I think the amount of syllables that there is in the Japanese language doesn't really lend itself to catchy choruses and stuff. Psyche's throwing so many lyrics in there that it's difficult for her to then always just hit like a really catchy chorus. Which isn't to say that that was a bad chorus, I just don't think it's as good as some of her better work. Bloomin', Daydreamin', Sayan Akadori, they're still, for me, the standard. That's fine because with it lacked in melody, it made up for in musical prowess and songwriting intricacy. The whole thing just became really interesting to listen to. For a reactor, is great, to be honest. I kinda loved that song. Kinda did love that song a bit. There was so much in there that I found really surprising and weird and just kinda cool. What did you guys think? I know what you think, you like it, you like it, they don't have a bad song, you just keep telling me that. <laughs> Do you appreciate that I did not call this song emo, because it wasn't, it was pop punk. Guys, that was sent by Bandmade, you know that, you've heard that a million times. I'm not going to ask for your opinion, I just expect they're gonna, you're going to tell me <laughs> at this point. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way, because I like hearing from you, I do enjoy it. <laughs> I, just, I just like to pretend that I don't. Big eye, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.